time for a picnic. Take out the strawberries. Let's fill the basket now with apples, rolls, and cheese. Lay down the Hi! In this video, we're going to make a Spanish favourite for our picnic tortilla. We've washed our hands. Yes. Yeah. Good. Clean. And we're ready to go. The equipment you'll need is weighing scales, a chopping board, a small bowl, a medium bowl, a plastic beaker, a grater, kitchen paper, oven gloves, a colander, a whisk or fork, a spatula or fish slice, a frying pan, a spoon, sharp knife and scissors. So let's go through the ingredients we need to make the tortilla. Madalena? Parsley, four eggs, peas and cooked potatoes. Well done, fantastic. And you, Liberty? Sunflower oil, mustard, mushrooms, cheese, onions and a pepper. Fantastic. We're using reduced fat cheese, healthier than using the full fat. The specific measurements are all online, ready for you to look at. We've washed and weighed all the ingredients, so everything's ready for us to go ahead. If you don't have any leftover potatoes, just peel a few and boil what you need. Let's get cooking, girls. Madalena, I'm going to get you to start with the eggs. And Liberty, I'm going to get you to chop the pepper. Let's get the bowls ready for you. You're going to need this one and this one. And Liberty, this is for you to put any of the discarded pepper in that one, OK? There we go. Thank you. Not a problem. There we go then, Liberty. If I can get you to chop off the bottom so it doesn't rock and roll for me, that'd be great. Well done, Madalena. Madalena is actually doing a really good trick here. She's tapped the egg with the knife to break it and then used her thumbs to prise it apart and putting it into a small bowl before she tips it in there. Well done. Oh, you're doing really well. Good girl. Break it open and then put the egg into the bowl. And once we've done that, I'll get her to wash her hands as well, just to make sure that her hands are thoroughly clean after using the eggs. Good work, Liberty. Well done. Chopping down the side, do you find that bit a bit tricky? Maybe we could just turn it around there, give it another chop for me. Good girl. There we go. And then you can put that middle bit in there and then use your claw technique to make it into nice slices. Fabulous! <laughs> Madeleine has just washed her hands. Liberty's finishing off slicing the peppers. I'm going to start chopping the onion. All right, you can watch this, Madeleine. I'll show you how to do it. What we need to do is actually keep this hairy bit at the bottom. Is actually what lets off all those gases that makes your eyes really cry. So um, what we're going to do is take the top bit off, give it a slice, put that aside, and then we're going to use the bridge technique to slice through. There we go, there we have, perfect half. This is the best stage now to peel the onion. Do you want to watch what I'm doing, Liberty? And then you know how to do this onion. Get hold of the skin and take it off. There we go. So we've kept the hairy bit at the bottom and this is also a good way of making sure that we don't catch our fingers as well. And then we're going to use the claw technique. This is the way of actually slicing through the onion, making nice small slices without chopping our fingers. So there we go. I've got my fingers nice and tight together and we slice through. Let's see how much we need. I think we can be done just about there. There we go. Madalena, I'm going to get you to whisk the eggs and break them up for me. That'd be great. Liberty, could you do me a favour? Could you grate the cheese for me? I'm going to take the parsley and the mushrooms and give those a chop. Help you girls out. Where's my grater gone? There it is. There we are. If you could do that, that'd be great. We're going to use the larger grates just because it won't stick too much inside with a soft cheese like this, which is cheddar, by the way. So there we go. I'm going to chop the parsley in the pot. You get a pair of scissors. Keep it all contained inside the bottom of the pot and keep on chopping with the blades pointed down. That's done there. And then we're going to slice the mushrooms. Always give your mushrooms a little wash and a rub over with a damp tea towel or a piece of paper towel. 
just to keep them clean. So I'm going to slice the mushrooms now into thin slices. You're done nearly. Well done. Look at that. Great big pile. There's actually loads of skill techniques on the website if you have a look. It teaches you how to chop and grate and even whisk as well. There we go. That's the mushrooms done. The onion done, the pepper done, the cheese done and the eggs. Yeah? Brilliant. So now we've got all the chopping done and the grating, we can pop it all in the egg mixture ready for frying. I'm going to pop the cheese in. Ready, there's that in there. And we'll add the parsley. Oh, delicious. Look at those colours, they look beautiful. Give those a whiz. Now we're going to put a teaspoon of mustard in just to give it that extra bit of flavour. Liberty, could you put a teaspoon of mustard in the mixture for me? Well done, Madalena. Does it feel different now that you're whisking it with all the cheese and the bits in it? Yes. It does. Oh, look at that. It looks so golden. Lovely. It smells a bit funny. Does it smell funny? Why? Do you like mustard? You don't really taste it when it's cooked sometimes. It can be strong, but obviously this one's just a mild Dijon. So we're ready to fry. Let's get started on this. Come on girls, right. Liberty, can you do me a favour? Can you put in a tea tablespoon of oil? That's what we need. Well done. Brilliant job Liberty, well done. And Madalena, holding the frying pan, which is really important, can you put the onion in for me? It's really, really important to always have an adult supervising over a hot flame. As you can imagine, accidents can happen quite easily. And give it a mix with the spatula, that's fantastic. We're just softening the onion down now. It allows it just to get a little bit golden, which brings more flavour and taste to it. Well done, Madalena, that's brilliant. Liberty, can you put in the mushrooms and the peppers for me? That's it, you keep stirring, Madalena. And the peppers as well, Liberty, thank you. There we go, let's pop the frozen peas in. Without the potato. Yep, keep the potato to the side, that's it. There we go, give them a roll in. Frozen peas are really handy. You can take them straight out of the freezer and use them and then they'll start to cook in the mixture. Um, you don't have to use frozen peas if you've got some peas left over as well. They're equally as tasty. Really good stirring, Madalena. And the lovely colours inside this tortilla as well. You get to use other vegetables. You can use yellow or orange pepper. Broccoli's a really good one too. You could use carrot. You could use, you could use carrot, yeah. It's, it's a great one for leftovers. Sweet corn. And sweet corn. Now we're going to add the potatoes. A pair of clean hands are probably the most basic tool in the kitchen. As long as they're clean, it's not a problem to use them. I'm going to use my hands in this situation because obviously it's going to be quite hot above the pan. But I'm going to layer these up. Perfect. There we go. You can pop it down now. You can make it as pretty as you like. Make a smiley face. You can make a smiley face or a flower. There we go, girls. Brilliant. So we've laid everything up, everything's sizzling nicely underneath, there's a great noise coming from there. It smells, what does it smell like? Yummy. Oh, really yummy. And sizzles like sausages. And sizzles like sausages, that's right. And so the next part is to actually add the egg. Liberty's just given the eggs a bit of a mix, and now we're going to pour them into the pan. That's it. And get it evenly all over the top, so then what happens is that the egg runs through Underneath all the vegetables. Can you bring it over this side? That's it, there we go. Do you need to use a spatula? Maybe. There we go. Go on then, tip it over and then I can pop it in. There we go. An extra helping hand's always nice, isn't it? So now, I'm just going to give it a little tap with the spatula all over, make sure it's all straight and even. It smells really good. It does, yeah. I can't wait to try this later, can you? We're going to give it a couple of minutes just for it to cook on the bottom and then we're going to transfer it and grill it. So girls, we're going to get it under the grill, okay? Okay. Yeah? What you need to do is switch the grill on to medium heat and then wait for the tortilla to get golden brown and bubbling. It takes about three to four minutes.
Right, we're going to get the tortilla out of the grill now. It's going to use a pair of oven gloves. Watch out, girls. It's coming through. Oh, it looks fab. Shut the oven. Okay. And lemon. And so this is a little bit tricky, so it's always great to do it with adult supervision. Right, let's flip it out. Ooh, look at that! It looks beautiful. I don't know which side's better. You don't know which side's better? Oh yeah. I like lots of peas in mine. So what we're going to do now is give it a chop. This will make it easier just to pop into the container ready for our picnic. Let's give it a slice in half. This is an actual Spanish omelette. This is, it is an actual Spanish omelette, it's a really good... Tortilla. Yeah, this is where it originated from. Turn it and twist, there we go. Chop it again. Make them into some smaller pieces, easy to pick up with your fingers. And we'll keep a couple of big slices, maybe for people who are a bit hungrier. Let's use that. There we go. Wow, that's Whoop. A big slice. That looks delicious. Let's put this in. Oops, don't worry about that. I'm sure it'll get eaten. Yeah. There we go. Clock it on. There we go. Ready to go. Are we ready for a picnic, girls? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's go. If you'd like to have a go at making another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to at Eat Happy Project. Hashtag Let's Cook Along. Say bye, girls. Bye. Bye. bye.